Is it bad to sleep with the heater on? What's up, folks? Welcome to Consumer Sherpa, your number one source on the web in the home appliance department. Today we'll talk about sleeping with the heater on and whether it's good for you. Hit the like button, subscribe, and let's dive in. Winter is the time when we lose body temperature and we have to regulate it. It's convenient to know whether sleeping with the heating on is good or if it's better to abandon the idea. Although it seems that sleeping with heating when it's cold is good, things aren't so black and white. Not surprisingly, it's important to know what the average temperature is and how long it lasts. As a general principle, your bedroom should have a temperature between 15 and 17 degrees Celsius, or between 59 and 63 degrees Fahrenheit. We want to make it clear that heating at home is not negative at all. In fact, in many places, it is crucial for a good quality of life. This should not be an obstacle to seeing that this issue brings inconvenience if you don't know how to use it. Here are the advantages and disadvantages of sleeping with heating that you need to evaluate. The first and obvious advantage is avoiding problems due to the cold. In certain places, heating is necessary to guarantee a minimum level of well-being. When used, it can offer you the comfort you need. Secondly, this system is useful so you don't have to do without several layers of bedding. We all know how difficult this process can be at any given moment and what practical inconveniences it creates. This question is even more uncomfortable if it turns out that you're sleeping with your partner and there is a night fight for owning quilts and sheets. On the other hand, it should be pointed out that if you set the heating to medium temperature, you will not notice a difference. This is a way to always maintain a fixed temperature to avoid problems. Whether it is hot or cold, this is the most recommended. On the downside, the first drawback relates to the contrast that occur at temperatures. It's not in vain. If you put the heating too high, you can have health problems caused by sudden change. Many colds are caused by unregulated temperature. On the other hand, there is a problem of energy efficiency. It's calculated that for each additional degree of temperature above what you really need, consumption increases by 7%. That's why it is convenient to set the heating in the right measure so that you don't have any problems. There's no point in spending more than you really need. Finally, it should be pointed out that sleeping with the heating on can create dryness in the environment. This, in addition to being unpleasant, affects the growth of bacteria and increases the chances of getting the flu or other diseases. In conclusion, we recommend that you lower the blinds a few hours before bed or in the afternoon if you live in an area that's too cold, and turn on the heating an hour before bedtime. Then, you either turn it off or program it so that it does it on its own at a certain time, which creates a delicious and comfortable environment throughout the night. For those who have central heating, it's easier. But for those who don't have it, then they should make sure that the rooms do not have a large temperature difference in relation to the rest of the house. So sleep with the heating on, yes, but without exaggeration. We hope that this guide was helpful to you and that you learned something new today. Stay safe. 